Hi, this is Rob from Hawthorne Inspection Cameras. Today we're going to walk you through uh, our H12 control module, uh, how to set it up, uh, how to record a video, and some of the functions of the unit. So first you'll start out with your H12 being closed. It opens up simply with glass on the top. It's a very weather resistant unit. You'll see, note that there's an ACDC adapter on the side along with a battery cradle and a power switch. On the other side you have a military plug with a dust cap. So let's start there. Always make sure to plug your unit in first as with any electronic equipment. So simply plug that into the 10 pin connector on the side and screw it tight and secure. That won't come out. So to power the unit you, have, you can use an 18 volt Milwaukee battery or equivalent or an AC-DC adapter which is supplied with the unit. You can't plug both in at the same time. Let's use the battery for today. That clicks in securely. When it's in, simply turn on the power supply. The blue light will illuminate telling you you're ready to start. Um, the unit comes with a 12.1 inch daylight readable screen with a thousand nits. So that's twice as bright as the competitor's uh, brand of controller. So you'll literally be able to see this from across the street. Machined aluminum hardware, military grade stuff. Uh, this could take some abuse. We always you know, ask people to take care of their equipment, but it will stand up to some uh, fairly heavy abuse. And a shatter resistant screen. You can really hit on that before you'll start to do some damage. Uh, you've got a, a full keyboard here with a silicon cover, so again that will withstand some of the worst things that plumbers can throw at it. Um, and uh, RCA outputs for the video and the audio for recordings as well. So that's some of the basic uh, functions. To turn the unit on, simply hold the button down for two seconds until the green LED comes on and you'll see the unit power up. It takes about eight to ten seconds for the unit to power up. You'll see the Hawthorne logo. Once the unit's powered up, you'll be faced with a screen which tells you your serial number and build version of the controller, as well as it will ask you to select your reel type. So this controller will work with all Hawthorne units past, present, and future. Um, we just need to tell it what reel size we're using and rod size because that will affect the footage counter which is all done up here in the brain of the, of the machine. That takes circuit boards out of the reels themselves, making them more durable for the long term. So for this unit here, uh, I'm using a mini. It's under the table, but you just cycle through the type. Here I've got a mini 200 foot. There we are, mini 200 foot. And it will always remember the last reel that you've used. So if you only have one reel, you don't really need to worry about that. You simply confirm with the third button down. It clears the screen and it's done. It's gonna do the mouth, uh, mouth calculations here in uh, the control module. Similarly, if you, if you had two reels, you could go back out and you could change your reel size so that your footage is accurate. So here we are in a three or four inch uh, U-bend pipe. We've put a, a, an item in the bottom there to show the clarity of the screen. Uh, all units come with a meter and foot footage counter. Uh, they have a speaker and a microphone here as well. Uh, to show you uh, some of the details of what you're trying to video. Uh, some functions of this unit which are unique uh, is what we call the pan and zoom feature. So that's simply up to eight times you can pan and zoom into an item. It's a digital zoom and you just keep pressing it until it goes back to its uh, original one time. You can adjust the LED lights on the unit. If you're in white pipe or stainless steel pipe that's a really good feature because you can sometimes wash out a camera with the LED lights being too bright. If you're in a larger pipe you can turn the lights right up, say a 10 or 12 inch pipe and really light that pipe up. The camera itself adjusts to the best light that's being supplied to it, so you don't have to worry too much about it, uh, really dialing in those LEDs. Here we have the H12 screen with the face plate and keypad. The 512 hertz sound is operated by pushing the sound button. An icon will appear in the footage counter box at the bottom to turn it off again. 
you simply push the button again. Note the lack of interference with ours. Uh, a lot of the other competitors will have a interference on the screen while running the sonde. Ours, you can run the sonde all the time with very, very little interference. The LEDs on the front of your camera are operated with these two buttons. You see we have half a foot of footage. If you want to reset the footage counter, simply hold this button down for three seconds, back to zero. You can move that footage counter around the screen in case it's in the way of any obstructions you want to view. To operate the zoom is the bottom button here, up to eight times with a pan feature anywhere within the screen of reference. To put it back, just keep pushing that bottom button until you get back to 100%. On the keyboard, you have eight pages of text overlay operated by the function keys here. So let's start with page one. That simply brings up your ability to type multiple lines on the screen. You can save that. That page now is saved forever. So if you closed your screen down and your unit down and went away and came back and brought page back one back up again in your next inspection, that will still be here. So it's a great way to identify your company at the start of every video. You could start record, bring up page one. I'll hide that page. So now your company is brought up at the beginning of every single video. I can delete that page and save it. And now it's gone again and I can hide. You can choose to have white text instead if you don't like the black text. And here is your mic and speaker button, which you'll note toggles the mic and speaker icon here. It's a binary function, so when the microphone's on, the speaker is off. So playing videos with the microphone on will give you no sound. Similarly, if the speaker is on, it will not be recording any sound when you do a video. I like to keep the speaker icon on just so that nothing that's said during inspection gets accidentally saved onto the USB drive. To record, insert a USB key into the drive. it will tell you that the USB key is valid. So it's, doing, it's running a check to make sure that that USB is compatible with the system so that you don't lose any valuable time or videos that you made. Once it's done that check, press the record button. It's now recording. So anything that we do on this screen will now actually get recorded and anything we say now with the microphone on will be recorded to this video. You can pause recording and then start recording again. That's a great feature if you want to go away and have lunch. Come back and continue your inspection. To stop recording, press the record button again and it stopped. Let's explore some of the menus. Hit the home button. You have a choice of returning back to video or into setup. So press enter into setup and you can change some of the functions of your screen here, your brightness, your contrast, your hue and saturation. These are automatically set at the factory. Um, some really bright environments you want to br brighten up your screen, that's fine. Simply press enter and you can actually brighten the screen up. I tend to run it at 25 out of 50 just to preserve battery. Press the enter button. It's always set to high quality record. The advice would be to leave it there. It takes up a bit more memory, but uh, you will end up with the best quality videos. And you can ch change the system date and time as well. You'll note that you have access to your USB stick. So this will play videos that are on your USB. So let's put our USB back in. Enter onto the USB key. And this is very similar to Windows file system. Very easy to navigate. All files get saved in a file called record, R-E-C. And these are the videos 
that have been made. So let's play one of the ones that we've had. So press enter. It's now on full screen. And you'll note that we're moving the footage counter around. The speaker's working and you want to stop, just press stop and you're back to the main menu. You have the ability to rename these files. So pressing the button with three dots on it will return me to the menu. I can rename it to anything I like. Okay. And it's now six, seven, eight. Or I can delete that file by pressing the same button Scrolling down, it will ask you before you delete. I say OK, and that file is now deleted from the USB key. Let's return home, the reel in, and back to video. Pulling out the USB, it recognizes it's out, and I can no longer record. So that's a basic introduction to the H12 functionality. These units are also available with Wi Fi, so you can stream directly to your Android or Apple device. Um, that allows anybody to see whatever's happening on the screen will be streamed directly to their device with our uh, the Hawthorne proprietary app. It's free. Um, any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at 188Hawthorne or www.hawthornecorp.com. Uh, there's a lot of manuals and uh, videos on the website, but always feel free to give us a call and we'll be more than happy to help you out.